Hey guys, this is Scooter here at Macintosh Tips, and today I'm going to show you the GarageBand 09 uh, application. Pretty much I'm going to do an overview and tutorial on some things. Uh, so let's go get started. I'm going to go ahead and go to my dock, type in gar or click GarageBand. <clears throat> so this will pop up here, and this is pretty much the basic interface. Now what I'm going to go over today is the lesson store, how to get started, and then how to do some editing stuff. I'm going to show you how to edit your voice, just a little quick, uh, cool thing to show you. So let's go ahead and go to Learn to Play. And Learn to Play is pretty much, if you didn't know, uh, GarageBand's way of teaching you how to play an instrument, uh, the piano and the guitar. Uh, so it comes with the intro to the piano and the intro to guitar. If you want to learn more or you want to download more for free, just go to visit the lesson store <coughs> and you just hit download and they'll automatically download for you. So very cool there. Alright, so learn to play. You just type in your keyboard or you just plug in your keyboard and then you follow the instructions of the uh, of the user. So you can check that out. That's very cool. Now GarageBand uh, is great for music users and even people who have not who think they're not even talented in music. Uh, me, for example, I, I have no musical talent, but GarageBand makes it very, very simple, and I'll show you how in just a few seconds. Uh, so that's the lesson store. Next, you've got Magic GarageBand, and then up here, you've got New Project. Now, So let's go ahead and go to New Project. I'm going to type the instrument that I want. So I've got the piano, electric guitar, voice, uh, songwriting, movie, things like that. So I'm going to go here to Piano, hit Choose. And we'll go ahead and start creating the mix down. I'll go ahead and name where I want and save what I want. So, all right, and I'll have all my tracks or my instruments that I'm playing. And then I have the song in the middle. And then over here, I've got this cool little thing, uh, which I'll show you here in a bit. And you and these three buttons down here uh, operate the right side. You've got this button where you can uh, preview different types of beats. <laughs> all right, pretty cool. And you just do this one. Alright, and then you can go to the uh, eye down here, alright, and pretty much that changes, and you can change this track. So if I don't want to go to piano, but I want to go to my drum kicks, hit drum kit, and I like the hip hop, and now it'll change the hip hop kit. And then over here you have all your other tunes uh, that you can change, such as I can add my own uh, music from my iTunes collection. So these three buttons are great. Uh, this over here are your measures, alright, and I have measures, I have the time and length. All right, and then I even have the uh, signature. So I'm gonna do a 120 uh, tempo with a 4/4 and a C major. And then over here, obviously, your play, fast forward, rewind, record button, uh, add a new track, and uh, precision editor, uh, like in iMovie. So how do I get started? Pretty much, I'm gonna go to Window and go to Keyboard or Musical Typing. If I go to Keyboard, I look like this, and I just press along the way. Or I can go to uh, musical typing. I can hit this little A button here, and pretty much it corresponds to my keyboard, which is awesome. And now when I go to play, I just hit the buttons. And then that is the drum kits. And now I can go down octaves to make the beat deeper. Alright, that's very cool you can do. And it automatically changes the uh, musical typing. Remember, when I go back to the I in the right corner, and I change my instrument. So that's very, very cool. And then to record, you just go ahead and record. So that's pretty much the basics of how you get started. So if I want to add another track, I'll go here, and then this will pop up. A software instrument, a real instrument, or an electric guitar. Now if you have an electric guitar, go ahead and plug it in and start playing. If you want a real instrument, such as your voice, you'll click here. And if you want a software instrument, such as the ones that you have that I just showed you, then you'll go there. So that's pretty much basically how to get started, how to make your own beat, and become the next music star and win a Grammy. Maybe not, but it's a good start. So let me go ahead and show you one that I have already uh, made and prepared for you guys, and I'm going to get into some editing here. So, all right, so this is pretty much what I have open here. Uh, here is my song. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys, and then I'm going to add my own audio track. So I'm going to play this for you guys and see if you like it. Alright, so that is my uh, that is my beat that I have made. Now, did I type this all in? I didn't. What I did was I went down here to the right corner, and remember I said these are pretty much all of samples you can create? I made this whole beat just by dragging and dropping and adjusting. Very, very cool. Very, very easy. 
Apple knows what they're doing with their applications. I made this by going to different categories and dragging and dropping. So I'm going to drag this over here, and now it changes, and it's what it sounds like. That sounds horrible, but that's what it sounds like. So that's what I did. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a new track, and I'm going to uh, add a vocal. Go to Add again, go to Real Instrument this time, and go to Create. Now, uh, one quick tip that I want to give you guys. Uh, if you like metronome, which helps you keep the beat, like I have a 4-4, four, four, one, two, three, four. There will be a little thing to help me keep the beat. But I think that's annoying. So if you want to take that off, um, you're going to go here to control and make sure your metronome is turned off. So I'm going to go here to the start. I'm going to hit the record button, and I'm going to say Macintosh tips, and I'm going to record that. So here we go. <clears throat> la, 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 la. Macintosh tips. Alright, so that's what it sounds like here. Let me go ahead and play it. Macintosh tips. It's pretty tight. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here. Alright, and not precision, I'm sorry. Alright, so first what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to start editing. Alright, now I can edit different parts I want. So if I want to edit the first part, and then don't edit the second part, I can just split the clip by hitting uh, Command-T, and it'll split. Alright, so pretty much all your controls work the same way. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over here to this little eye, and I'm going to go to vocals, because I'm doing a vocal, and I'm going to go to effects. Now, here are all the effects that you have here in, uh, in GarageBand. So, I'm going to do, so I'm just going to play some for you. If I wanted uh, voice reflection, uh, I'll go here, and I go back and sample it. Macintosh tips. And you see it's like an echo. Uh, if I want a helium breath, it's not like I had just inhaled a balloon, it'll sound like this. All right, and even this is my favorite one. If I want the deeper vocals, it'll sound like this. All right, now my favorite one here is the mouse voice. I think that sounds very, very cool. So I'm going to play this, click the eye again so this can get off my screen, and now I have my whole beat. Let's listen again with some edited uh, versions of my uh, voice. Here we go. Alright, and if I easily want to go back and record something over this, I can say here and go Reviews Giveaways Tutorials And it'll keep this mouse voice Now, if I want to take this part and do a mouse voice and this part to do a deeper vocals over here, that can't happen because over here, it says mouse voice so if I want this part to be a mouse voice, I'll just copy and paste and make a new track and then do another uh, type voice. So this is my whole track again. I just did some more recording. Now you can't really hear that. So pretty much what I'll do, I'll take them over here. I can take the volume down of each one of these. All right. And I can do this now. And now check it out. All right. And that is pretty much... My edited version of that, I'm going to take this last part out because I like that first part. So, as you've seen here, I just made a whole, what, 12 second song, 15 second song, by, or 20 second song, by dragging and dropping and adding a vocal, which is very, very easy in GarageBand. So, it's just a quick demo of GarageBand. If you have any more questions, be sure to message me and I, I can greatly help you out. Um, so, uh, if you want, guys, uh, make your own song. And I would encourage you guys to respond to this video down below uh, and let us see what you got. See if you're a musical genius. So uh, this has been Macintosh Tips. Hope you comment and rate. And if you like it, please subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. We have a Ustream coming up. Please check the channel. And for other videos, please check the channel as well. Links will be in the description box on that side, whichever one that is. And uh, peace.